My name's Winston, and I'm the vocalist for Parkway Drive. This was our first ever live session, like ever, which is um, cool. We had no idea what to expect from it. Like, I know what it's like being in the studio with us, and we are interesting to work with. <laughs> we all have, like, very, um, I'm going to say strong personalities in the sense of I can, I can pick exactly what everyone's going to say and how everyone's going to act in the studio and we're so used to working separately in a recording session um, and just going over it until you get it perfect. So the idea of us doing live takes all together and then 
I guess nailing it was something that I was like, this isn't going to happen. <laughs> we're going to, everyone's going to go, nope, nope, we're going again, we're going again. I was expecting to spend like a day here and then the engineer would just be wanting to kick us out at the end of it. So I'm really stoked with how it went, like really, really, really stoked. It was a really fun experience to hear it all happening at once and be able to like look out of my little isolation vocal booth and go, oh, everyone's doing good. We don't suck. This is nice. It's good not to suck. <laughs> it's really strange because the last time I recorded any of these tracks was when we were doing them for the first time in the studio. And there's parts and stuff in there which I can remember was such an effort to nail the character or hit the pitch on the scream or anything like that. And then to just go <laughs> through in one take and, <laughs> and go, man, I kind of wish I could have done it like that on the record. And I think I have those memories in the back of my mind of like spending a month tracking these vocals and just working over every little bit to get the exact nuance and now we've been we've done these songs hundreds of times <laughs> come back into the studio and do them live and it's go through them like it's second nature kind of thing it's, which is cool In Session for Radio One's Rock Show <laughs>
This is Winston from the band. I don't think we bunged anything up too massive. And there was little bits in there where like I can hear my voice, my voice break because I get really excited in parts and stuff. And it's 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 interesting because I think the recording that we've got here is a combination of um, trying to be reserved enough to make sure you nail the parts and also having this um, the way of performing them on stage, which is really emotional in comparison to being in a studio. Like the studio, you still, I, I guess, it's a little bit more of a controlled environment. So it's, it's, it's on the line there, and sometimes you hear like the voice break a little bit from me, just going a little bit crazy. And also, like the, the lack of adrenaline is really different. Like when you're on stage, like playing, playing Crushed, especially, I was like, oh my God, this song is so fast. How do we do this? But I can remember every single night on stage, there's so much adrenaline. That song takes for Ever. And I love it, but I'm like drifting around in the melodies, like spitting these lines out, and it's all so 
breezy and so there's so much space and then we're in there and I'm just spitting these lines out going, slow down, is it really this fast? I think we're faking it. I think this is like the chipmunks version of it. So it's it's a really strange experience to deal with that time warp. We do a lot of recording and I, it's, I guess it is really different, especially doing, yeah, I think it's that thing of doing things for the first time. Like muscle memory is a fantastic thing and I have done these songs so much. I'm really proud of myself that I can have the, um, the mental ability to be able to rein myself in and make sure I can actually perform it. I, I used to get really lost in the moment and destroy my voice a lot and um, sing in ways that I thought would sound really good, but in reality out front just had no power and was really thin and weak. And it's nice now to be able to go, okay, like focus on the voice, focus on getting the parts that you want to get. And it reflects in the technique and it reflects in the actual recording. So I was, as soon as we started, I was like, I hope this isn't just my headphones that I'm sounding okay in my headphones. I hope it actually sounds okay in the mix. But yeah, like it's, um, I'm happy. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> Sorry if it sounds like bragging or anything, but I don't know. I've done a lot of work on my vocals over the years and to be able to do a, finally do a, a live recording in it it not be that mental task of, again, going into the studio and taking months to nail these things the exact way you want, all those takes on to get the exact part and then just be able to sit down and go, you know what, I'm, I'm happy with it sounding human and, and it still sounds like it has the clarity that I want it to have. <laughs> it's a pretty big trip out to be in the BBC studio doing something like this, especially when we sound like, we sound like all of us hope and dream that David Attenborough has once walked around these halls. <laughs> Please don't kill my dream today. <laughs> Tell me otherwise. <laughs> in session for Radio One's Rock Show.
Fade off!